The universe is vast, complex, and awe-inspiring. From the tiniest subatomic particles to the largest galaxies, it is a tapestry of matter and energy woven together over billions of years. But, like all things, the universe is not eternal. One day, it will come to an end, and everything we know and love will be gone forever. How will this cosmic drama play out? Will the universe end with a whimper or a bang? In this video, we will explore the different scenarios for the end of the universe, from the big freeze to the big rip and in between. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a mind-bending journey into the heart of the cosmos. The Big Freeze Imagine a bustling metropolis on a beautiful night, with the moon and the stars shining bright above. Everyone goes about their usual routines, completely oblivious to the changing universe around them. But something is different. Something is off. The nights are slowly but surely growing longer and colder, and the stars in the sky are fading away, as if someone was turning down the brightness of the universe. As time passes, the nights become increasingly frigid, and the skies grew darker still. The winters become unbearably cold, and the summers are fleeting memories. The crops wither and die, and the once abundant wildlife becomes scarce. The world descends into chaos as people struggle to survive the unforgiving cold. Companies start to cash in by building massive heaters to keep the people warm, while others flee to underground bunkers to escape the bitter cold. Meanwhile, scientists from space agencies like NASA and ESA and from all corners of the world work tirelessly to uncover the mystery behind the freezing universe. They soon discover that the universe is expanding faster and faster, and the galaxies are hurtling away from each other at an alarming rate. This isn't the makings of an apocalyptic sci-fi movie. This is a type of theoretical concept in physics known as the heat death or Big Freeze, talked about a lot by theoretical cosmologists like Dr. Katie Mack. The heat death, the scenario that we call the heat death of the universe, that's been around for a long time. Tell us about that one, because I understand that you think that may be the most likely one. Yeah, so the heat death is the one that is considered to be most accepted in physics. It's sometimes called the Big Freeze, colloquially. The idea behind the heat death is we know the universe is expanding, and we know the expansion is accelerating. So the galaxies that are out in the distant universe, they're getting farther apart from us, they're getting farther apart from each other, and this expansion is continuing and it's getting faster over time. We don't know why it's accelerating, I'll just point that out at the moment, but it's due to something we call dark energy. We don't know what dark energy is, but it's something that's making the universe expand faster. To understand how the Big Freeze will occur, we need to explore the concept of entropy. Entropy is a measure of the disorder or randomness in a system, and it tends to increase over time as energy is spread out more evenly. In the case of the universe, the amount of energy is fixed, but as the universe expands, that energy is spread out over an ever-increasing volume of space. This means that the energy density of the universe is decreasing over time, leading to a state of thermal equilibrium, where everything is the same temperature. As the universe expands, the energy density will continue to decrease, causing the temperature to drop. The stars, which are the main source of heat and light in the universe, will eventually run out of fuel, causing them to fade away into nothingness. The galaxies, which are held together by the gravitational force, will no longer be able to form as the force weakens and is no longer strong enough to overcome the expansion. As the universe continues to expand, the distance between objects will grow, and the energy density will become so slow that all matter will be too far apart to interact with each other. The black holes, which are the most massive objects in the universe, will slowly evaporate due to Hawking radiation, releasing their energy into the cold, empty space. Eventually, the universe will reach a state of maximum entropy, where everything is uniformly distributed and at the same temperature. At this point, the universe will be a cold, dark and empty place with no energy left to sustain life. It will be a universe of absolute stillness, where time itself has no meaning. This fate is not imminent, however, as the Big Freeze is estimated to occur in about 10 to the power of 100 years, which is an almost unimaginable long time. But still, the idea of a universe where everything is frozen and life no longer exists is a truly tragic one, as everything becomes cold, dark, empty and isolated, 
just decaying away forever. The Big Crunch. Now, we don't know that it's not something that could change, that might be some dynamical field where at some point it would cause a compression instead of expansion. So we don't know for sure, but I think it's the scenario that I find most terrifying, even though in a sense it may be one of the least likely because it seems to contradict the current data. The idea that the universe could start compressing everything is really, really upsetting. Because, you know, right now we see the galaxies getting farther away, we see the universe sort of cooling and emptying out. If the universe started to contract, then what we would see is we can see all these distant galaxies kind of rushing toward us and galaxies would be colliding with each other all the time, but distant galaxies would come toward us and the universe would get very, very dense and crowded. And worse than that, all of the radiation in the universe would also be compressed. That means not only would it get hotter just because more radiation is in a smaller space, but also all of the radiation would be kind of hardened into higher energy radiation, higher frequency radiation. So. There's a process that happens in the universe during expansion called redshift. The Big Crunch is a theoretical cosmological scenario which stands in contrast to the Big Freeze. It envisions a universe that will eventually stop expanding and will instead start contracting, eventually resulting in the collapse of the universe into a singularity or a point of infinite density. To understand the Big Crunch, we need to look at the concept of gravity. Gravity is the force that governs the motion of celestial objects in space, and it is what holds galaxies, stars and planets together. In a universe where gravity is the dominant force, everything attracts everything else, causing matter to clump together and form larger structures. As the universe expands, the gravity between galaxies becomes weaker and the acceleration of cosmic expansion grows stronger. However, the Big Crunch predicts that at some point in the future, the gravitational pull of all matter in the universe will eventually slow down and reverse the expansion, causing the universe to collapse in on itself. Everything that was formerly spread out will become compressed and dense as the universe contracts. The stars and galaxies that were once so far apart will collide, causing a massive release of energy. The immense amount of energy produced by these collisions will heat up the universe, creating a fireball that will engulf everything in its path. The intense heat and pressure caused by the Big Crunch will cause the universe to go through a period of extreme turbulence. The temperature will rise to trillions of degrees, and the pressure will be so intense that atoms will be ripped apart, creating a sea of subatomic particles. This chaotic period is known as the Big Bang in reverse. As the universe continues to collapse, it will become more and more dense, eventually becoming a singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics break down. At this point, time itself becomes meaningless, as all of space and time are compressed into an infinitely small point. It's an idea that many find quite upsetting. The idea that we could just be cooked by the radiation of space as the universe is kind of collapsing all around us. The Big Rip Another theoretical scenario predicted by scientists is the Big Rip. According to this scenario, the expansion of the universe will continue to accelerate until it becomes so strong that it overcomes all the forces holding matter together, leading to a cataclysmic event that tears everything apart. This would happen in the future, billions of years from now. The primary force driving the Big Rip scenario is dark energy a mysterious force that is believed to make up about 70% of the total energy in the universe. Dark energy has a repulsive effect that pushes everything away from everything else, causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. As the universe expands, more dark energy is created, which in turn accelerates the expansion even further. This runaway effect eventually leads to the Big Rip. So the Big Rip is an idea that comes back to this question of dark energy. We don't know what it is that's making the universe expand faster. We call it dark energy because we don't know what it is, but there's something that's accelerating the expansion of the universe. Now, if it's just a cosmological constant, if it's just a property of the cosmos, then we know how that goes. You know, it leads us to heat death where all the galaxies are maximally isolated and then they fade away. But there are other hypothetical possibilities for dark energy. One way to understand the Big Rip scenario is to consider the way gravity works. 
Gravity is a force that pulls matter together, causing stars and galaxies to form. However, dark energy works in the opposite way, pushing everything apart. As the universe expands, the gravitational force weakens while the force of dark energy increases. Eventually, the force of dark energy becomes so strong that it overcomes the gravitational force, leading to the Big Rip. In conclusion, the fate of the universe is both fascinating and terrifying. Whether it ends in the icy darkness of the Big Freeze or the fiery inferno of the Big Crunch, the end of everything we know and love is inevitable. However, we can take comfort in the fact that these events are estimated to occur in unfathomably distant futures, and in the meantime, we can continue to explore and learn about the mysteries of the universe. So, let's continue our journey into the heart of the cosmos, and who knows, maybe one day we'll discover a way to cheat the inevitable fate of the universe.